They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It is your boy, the Squirrel. And today we're looking at Ronnie Barker and David Jason at the BAFTA Awards, BBC 2003. Whether this makes it through or not, I'm not sure. We're not going to find out, but either way, I'm going to record it. My buddy Paul sent this over to me. He sent over Ronnie Barker, I believe, receiving a BAFTA, and then this piece as well. So there's two Ronnie Barker BAFTA related videos that I'll be doing soon. Wanted to uh, get this one done tonight. So, Paul, thanks, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate you sending these over to me. Uh, you know how much I love Ronnie. He even said, he's like, you're watching Open All Hours. You got to check these out, you know. So, uh, pretty, pretty cool. So, let's get into this and let's see Ronnie Barker and David Jason at BAFTA Awards uh, 2003. David Jason, is that the guy? I think that's the guy who was, uh, that's the guy who was in Open All Hours, right? I think so. I think that's him right there, right? Oh, no. Oh. Huh. I accidentally moved the video forward. I didn't mean to. I clicked on it. I meant to click on it to start it and not realize it wasn't on the screen. So I'm glad that didn't work. But I think this is him right here, right? So let's get back to the beginning here. And then uh, there's this handsome ass Ronnie. Let's do it. You guys ready? Let's do it. Not intended. I'm sorry, but I'm here and I'm in the right place. <laughs> I think. And the first thing I have to say is... Not sure. Okay, okay, you got Granville, you, you, you've, you've done it. <laughs> Almost 30 years ago, when David was doing a, a guest spot on Porridge, I'd won about 14 awards of one kind or another. David only had one. And he said to me, I'll catch you up, you so-and-so, I'll catch you up. Actually, he didn't say so-and-so, but I thought it was wrong to say bugger on the BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, catch me up he did, and surpassed me. I don't know how many he's got now, but... He deserves every one of them. Not the least, the one he's receiving tonight. When he was toiling as an electrician in North London, David set himself the age. That's some pretty big accolades for Ronnie Barker to say about anybody, I think, you know? Like, Ronnie Barker's just... Jeez, that's got to feel amazing. Age of 30 to make it as an actor. Before the deadline, he'd played a crook in Crossroads, and he'd starred along some other funny chaps in Do Not uh, Adjust Your Set. Since then, he has brought us Granville and the trusty bike in Open All Hours, Pop Larkin, Darling Buds of May, D.I. Jack Frost, and of course, the unforgettable Del Boy. Thank you, madam. <laughs> I didn't know he ever had a mother. No, he is. I'm. I'm currently doing dinner ladies on Patreon, and I. I, I I'm like 99 percent locked in. Only fools and horses got to come next, right? I mean, this is it. It's time, I guess. A superb comic actor, and a great dramatic one with Porthouse Blue and all the King's Men to his credit. In I mean, my option. In my option, I don't have an option. Actually, it is actually what I have is an opinion. <laughs> Damn teleprompter got him. It's because I belong to the Law Society of Piss Pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> that the words come out and ducker say that you will nick not what you're fucking a big. Uh, <laughs> In my opinion, though, one of his greatest achievements on television came in the two Ronnies. No, not the other little one. No, the he came in the two Ronnies when he provided some memorable sound effects for the Phantom Raspberry Blur. <laughs> and all done with the mouth. <laughs> During all the years we worked together, he always called me the governor. And when I retired, I wrote out a scroll and presented him with it, making him the governor. I'm now the ex-gov. We're now going to see a few glimpses of the string of successes which over the years have marked the rise to stardom of my old friend, David Jason. I, until, I've got goosebumps like crazy right now. Until I started hearing Ronnie talk about David Jason and all the things he's been in, I didn't realize how much this guy has done. So that was like, whoa. Uh, this, Ronnie Barker truly has... Um, a brotherly love for this guy, I think. you can. I mean, it's, it's coming through. 
I think Ronnie really, really, really has has a great uh, respect and love for this guy. He must. There wasn't any question in my mind that David was going to be a massive comedy star. It was perfectly plain to anyone who'd ever studied comedy. It's all there, all the various sort of um, ingredients of how to entertain someone are there, bottled up in this little body. <laughs> little squat, hairy body. We're on a winner here, Shree, all right? Play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's something between him and the camera that just reaches out and touches people. The truth is, I can't handle it. As long as I know she's all right. He's just a great character actor. I believe every character he plays. It's the Oaks and the Spinney with me. August. Clearing the first leaves. David is the actor that every other actor wants to be. Perfect. <laughs> you are a woman, you really are. You get up quick, you'll get it down your jumper. <laughs> if ever I become famous, I want absolutely no reference to this. It's lucky we met, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you smoke yourself to death instead, here, look. Bless your flesh, what? Well, I have often prayed, you know, to Lady Luck. But I've only met her daughter, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Miss Fortune. <laughs> I think David has turned in a series of most extraordinary performances. My wife's a very attractive woman. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah. I, mean, I suppose she is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I hadn't actually... Um, um, well, I mean, I had, I had noticed, but I uh, hadn't... Well, you couldn't help not, could you, really, because it, you know, it sticks out a mile. No, see, what I meant was that I hadn't... <coughs> yes, yes, she is, yes, yes, I suppose you are, yes. He's like the, the boy at school who, who says, I don't do any work. <laughs> Watching that that you know that run through, the, the things he did, and to think he was an electrician up till he was thirty, and then he got into acting. Wow, this is so much more impressive than I ever knew about David Jason. Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> He's, he's coaching him. Not yet. Just enjoy it. Soak it in. Love it. Oh. How many have you got now? For four, four, forty-four. Right, I'll have, I'll have this one then. Oh. David, bless you. Many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Thank the you. governor. The governor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> I don't know what to say really. Except I'm very moved and uh, very honoured to. Have Found myself in this position. Little lad from Finchley hasn't done too bad, has he, over the few years? Thank you, Ronnie. Um, yeah, I was sitting down there and I, I was full of um, wonderful ideas and wonderful thoughts, but um, 
I, I was just wondering whether this is BAFTA's way of saying, look, you've had enough now, move over, give it to someone else next time, will you? <laughs> this is my retirement, is it, from BAFTA, maybe? But uh, I, <clears throat> I would like to say it's, um, it's great to be here and, I'm, and with my family and, and friends, my brother Arthur and sister June, who've been such a support to me over the years. And of course, uh, Jill, who's my partner, who has been such a tower of strength. And, um, produced two years ago a lovely little baby daughter and uh, this evening I went in to see her as she was getting ready to go to bed and I said do you want to come with mummy and daddy to see see daddy get a very very special award and she said no thanks I want to stay and watch Winnie the Pooh <laughs> <laughs> so at least she's got her values right I suppose right. <laughs> um, there's not much more that I could say, really, except that I do owe a, a great debt of, of honour to so many people. And uh, as you saw, there are people like Bob Monkhouse, who, who helped me greatly at the beginning of my career. And the two people that have influenced me more than anything else, and as you've seen, my dear friend Ronnie Barker, who <clears throat> I believe should be called Sir Ronnie Barker for what he's done. I learned more from Ronnie than uh, I have, I think, from anybody else. And there's one little anecdote that... Um... Well, a bit of an abrupt ending there, unfortunately. Uh, you said there was two people you wanted to thank. I have to look up and see who the other one is. I'm not sure, but... Um, God. Uh, you know, as a guy who always wanted to be a comedic actor or a comedian and took a different path in life, uh, sometimes my path was forged not for me. Sometimes it was forged for me whether I liked it or not. Uh, as a guy who's 49 years old and I'm never going to make it as an actor, that's for damn sure, uh, I, um, it still warms my heart so much to see the people that did, um, the, especially in comedy, because that's really why I wanted to be, and I love it. I absolutely, the camaraderie between these guys, that's, I mean, honestly, I mean, that's, that, that's such a big thing to me. The love, the respect... Oh, so, so, so crazy. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, David Jason, uh, congratulations. I'm not sure if David Jason's even still with us or not. Uh, I mean, that's, that, was, that was 21 years ago. But, uh, but he had a baby, so hopefully that baby's keeping him alive and young. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to watch him open all hours uh, in, in just, a, just a few minutes. And uh, i got to tell you, every episode I watch of that going forward is going to be a little more special to me. I did not realize David Jason was this, so, so much of an accomplished actor. You know, I'm learning new people every day. I still learn more and more. So, But great time. That was great. It really was. It was a nice, nice piece. It was, uh, it was really good. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Paul, thanks so much for sending that over to me, man. That was really cool. I appreciate that a lot. I will uh, be back shortly and soon. Maybe. We'll see. Be good, all right? You big David Jason guy. Let me know. Scroll up. <laughs>